All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, is I Craft Chest here, crash banging and take one million two, because this right here, I thought was going to be a fairly easy video to make, but the more I think about it, and the more items I think about, and then it gives me more ideas about what I'm actually not doing versus what I'm doing, fishing in Black Desert can be quite complicated when you really think about it, because... You think to yourself, well, fishing is no more than grabbing a fishing rod and go fish. All right? Because you don't need any bait. You don't need any, uh, you know, anything but inventory spaces. And for each rod that you use, you need a certain level of proficiency. You would think that's it. But that's not really it because there's a lot of factors that are involved in maximizing the silver income from the trade merchants and picking the right rod that's for you, for you, all right? It's kind of like going shopping for a fishing rod. Do I want the, the Zebco or do I want the ugly stick? You know, it's kind of like you, you look at this and you're going, whoa, wait a minute, what does all this even mean? Well, I've done a lot of research on this subject this past week and had a couple of heated discussions with people over the past week about fishing because people say, and they're arguing the fact that the best be-all, end-all fishing rod in this game is the Balanos rod. And that's only because it gives you a faster AFK fishing time for, you know, reeling in fish whenever you're AFK fishing. Now, that can be a good thing, I suppose. But at the same time, I look at what am I actually getting... as an increased bonus to my fishing, such as experience and what have you and whatnot and so forth. All right, and I'm gonna talk on while I'm going up here to the trade merchant and I actually wanna take this auto path off. And a lot of people will say there is no argument the Balanos rod is the best one in the game. Well, if you look at the overall time that you're cutting off on that particular rod, you're looking at about 15 to 20 minutes maximum AFK time that you're adding at plus 10. And what do I mean by plus 10? Well, you're able to actually increase these rods. As you see, this one right here. Now, the steel fishing rod's not plusable, but just for example's sake, it would be looking like this. You know, a regular rod versus a plus rod. A Calpheon rod, all right, we'll get on the uh, this one in just a minute. But a Balanos, matter of fact, I have a Balanos rod. Let me just show you. I have a Balanos rod over here in my inventory, so let's show you that, okay? This right here, right now at level three, which I did not, you know, take it any higher because I just wanted to do a couple of pluses on it to see what the big what to do was. And it takes off 13% of your AFK fishing time, okay? Let's just say at 60 seconds, all right, 60 seconds, and we're going to take off 13%. So that is that that takes you down to 52 seconds. All right. Just on a minute. That's just hypothetically speaking that's that's a a 13% off of a minute that you're going to get. All right. So you get an 8 second basically uh, decrease in time per minute on that particular rod. Okay? So 8 seconds that's 16 seconds. On a three minute cast, let's say uh, eight times three, that's a 24 second decrease on your AFK fishing. Okay, that well, sounds legit. So if you want that, go for it. But that's pretty much all that rod does. Now there's an inferior rod that you can actually get that increases your durability. You can take it, I think somebody posted that at a plus 10, you get like 100% durability on the thing. Whereas most rods are either 50, 65, and I think 65 is the highest most of them go on the artisan rods. And then the inferior rod can be taken all the way up to 100. So really, if you look at the time sake on that, it's half a dozen one to the other because that's all they do. One's durability, one is time. Whereas if you look at something like the steel fishing rod, it gives you a 65 durability plus two to fishing skill and that lasts you roughly five to six hours depending on how long in between each cast is 
because it's not consistent. And we sat here the other day and actually did a test on it, and I was typing down in Notepad every time that I would get a bite. Cast, bite, cast, bite. And what I found was is that it was anywhere from 55 seconds, 37 seconds, 45 seconds, back up to a minute and three, etc., etc. So it's just all RNG all over the board depending on the seconds in between cast versus the bite that you get. So that kind of skews the numbers as far as a Balanos rod is, is concerned for AFK fishing, especially since you have to wait three minutes for her to actually reel it in. Now, if you decrease the time through that, you may actually not get an increase in the, the speed of the fish depending on how long it takes to get a bite. Does that make sense? All right. Whereas I would rather, if I'm going to go that route, I would rather, at the end of the day, for AFK fishing, have higher durability, which equals more time fishing. All right, that's more cast in the water. Okay, not just, you know, bringing in the fish. So it's half a dozen one the other, really. Steel fishing rod is what I always choose. That's just my fishing rod of choice for AFK fishing because it does give you the plus to fishing speed. The fishing speed plus two. Okay, so there you go. That's just my rod of choice. Artisan rods out there which we just talked about a couple of them there's a couple of more that you can go over which is one of them is the calfion rod people say which is worthless but i disagree with that because the calfion rod is a rod that enhances your chance to catch a big fish well most big fish are blues all right yellows and gold and of course i'm explaining this and my phone is ringing I'm going to continue and call them back. All right, with that said, the Calfion rod uh, gives you a better chance to catch a big fish. All right. Now, there's another rod that's called the Medea rod that gives you a chance to catch rare fish. You know, a better chance for rares. Okay, magic finding rod, basically. All right, that rod is an artisan level to your proficiency. See, I'm only professional level five. All right, so professional level one lets you use the other artisan rods. The Medea rod has an artisan level one to use it. Now, I actually have one of those rods as well, but I'm plussing it and getting it ready for whenever I hit that level, and then I'll be able to use it. The artisan rods are also the only fishing rods that are able to be repaired through the blacksmith, uh, whether they're plussed or not. All right, so they run down to zero, you can take them off, have them repaired and reuse those rods. The steel fishing rod and below, like thick fishing rods, old fishing rods, etc., are not able to be repaired. All right, see how this, you know, it's like, what are you even talking about, Craft Chest? What, what, what? Now, that said, getting off the fishing rod, once you go and you get the right rod for the job, oh, yeah, and then we even got the triple float rod. All right, triple float rod can only be obtained through a quest, okay? Now, this triple float rod has a very special attribute to it. It lets you catch multiple fish, usually two at a time, and there's other items you can add to catch three at a time. All right, right now, I can catch two at a time because that other item I'm not high enough level to get yet, but you can also add this ash float uh, for AFK fish, and now there's floats that you can put on your secondary gear. But the triple float rod allows you to catch two at a time. You want to use this rod, especially whenever you run across some coelacanth seagulls out there in the ocean. That's almost like a tongue twister. And you can catch two at a time. These coelacanths are the most sought after fish out there in a hot spot because they give you 200k per fish. Now, if your trade level is, I think, master and above or professional and above, you can get a higher silver percentage turned into you somebody told me that at master level one that you can get a million plus per coelacanth okay that's huge if you really think about it all right that's a lot of silver but that's active fishing because the chances of catching one afk i guess if you get into a hot spot you know when you just go afk you have that rng factor to catch one but the chances are really really minuscule and low it's best to look for the seagulls and actually know what fish you're looking at because you can see the fish jumping around in the water and they have their little portraits out there like this. All right. 
Now, the higher your trade level is, the more silver you're going to gain from the trade merchant, which I'm about to show you right here, which I'll fail miserably trying to bargain with them and probably run out of energy just simply because I'm filming. All right. Now, what else do I want to cover? Because once I get this, that's pretty much going to be the end of this particular segment because I will digress on all kind of other items. Um, let's say, oh yeah, one other thing I want to talk to you about. There are different foods and buffs and items that you can use to help you with fishing. One of them is these crystals, or are these crystals, that give you plus three. They're called dim magical crystals of fishing that give you plus three each to fishing experience. All right, plus my pet as an attribute to it gives me a plus three to fishing experience. So I have a plus nine to fishing experience just off of those items right there. Then you can get something that gives you skill XP like this GM's blessing right here that gives you skill experience and life experience of 10%. So that's what, 19% increase? Is that, am I at that right? Yeah, that's right. So that's a 19% increase of experience. Then I can actually take this warm milk, which was an event item, that gives me plus two to fishing. All right. Then if I use a steel fishing rod, it gives me another fishing speed of plus two. It, it just goes on and on. All right. Now for active fishing out on the ocean, this experience, this is just swap gear, by the way. My, my main gear, I have this piece and I have another, I think, plus 10 or plus 12. Uh, armor piece and storage, uh, but this is just swap gear for fishing. I have the experience crystals loaded up into this one. Just a base piece of gear. Didn't care about uh, plusing or anything because it's only for when I'm fishing. Another item that I picked up was a helmet. Same thing. Piece of swap gear that I picked up some functional. And you could go under the marketplace crystals or magic crystals and then go under functionality at the little subtitle and look for some of these items to help you with fishing. Both the, uh, the experienced ones are actually under the, if you type in fishing into script and search it, it'll pull them up if they're available, they'll be in there. These other ones that I actually got, these right here, give me vision range of 15 meters. 30 meters with two of them in this helmet, that's huge if you think about it. Because out here on the ocean, whereas I may be, let's say my boat's right here and the gulls are right here. Without the helmet, I may be seeing gulls here or with that on there in the 30 meters and they might be way out here and you saw how little bitty dots they are whenever you're out there and you can see them fluttering around you just see the silhouettes of them that could be the the factor between you know seeing coelacanths you know that far away or not seeing them at all and you just miss out on whatever silver it may be all right so there's all kind of different items and i'm sure if I went searching through item for item for item, I'd stumble across even more food, gear, and what, you know, uh, the secondary, you know, like this float right here, it goes on your secondary. There's different levels to these floats that'll help you out as far as fishing's concerned, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so that right there gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. Now, at my trade level, we're gonna bargain with this guy and we're going to go ahead and do this and hopefully hopefully yes success on the first try all right now we're at 175,000 all right and just for let's just say 175 uh what's the rest of it 781 all right let's sell all and let's see how much money we make just off that little bit of stuff all right so we made 3 million all right, so minus uh, six seven is that right? Three million forty seven equals. All right, so we netted about two point eight two million silver just off that hour of fishing. All right, that's pretty damn good, especially at a low level that I'm at right now. Not bad at all. As a matter of fact, no, 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 no. I should have sent that to my uh, storage over here. I really should have. <laughs> so let's just auto run down to the storage. I forgot to click send it to storage, but that's okay. All right. So that right there just gives you an idea of why I like fishing just to break the monotony of grinding and just to have uh, another 
something to do in the game because you don't just have to fight. You don't just have to, to grind. You can actually do something to me is fun. All right, sailing across the sea and exploring the islands and seeing, and you know, out there on those islands, here's something else. There's things to gather on those islands. There's crustaceans. There's, uh, there's gathering of uh, 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 different herbs and spices and everything nicest out there on those islands. And gathering is something that I'm actually going to touch on in another video because gathering can actually gain you a lot of silver as well uh, through having the chance to get these things called crystal shards. And crystal shards sell for a lot of silver in this game. A lot of silver. So there we go. We made three million off of that right there. Two point, what I say? 2.82 million off of that particular go. So let's go ahead and throw all this in there. Boosh. All right, and now we're up to five million just here, and that's just two fishing trips. All right, over five million silver, and just at my little bitty low level of proficiency on trading, that could have been a hell of a lot more silver had I had a higher trade proficiency. So when you're getting in the game, and if you're this far into the video, here's my point about the trading part of it. Build your trading proficiency, do the research, get that wagon, and start doing your over-the-land the, the trades, okay? Because the higher trading proficiency that you have, the more silver you're going to make. I have to actually do that myself. I'm going to backtrack all the way back to see what I got to do to get me a trade wagon and start working on that myself. All right? Now, I'm going to end it there because that's a ramble, and that went over a lot of information, and I know I forgot something, but that gives you the general idea. Today's topic, fishing both active and AFK. Oh yeah, and let me show you. Before I go, I did want to actually show you this because this is important. These crystals, some of them are over here. Yeah, here we go. These crystals, as you can see, 588 on the low side, 749 on the high side per crystal. So there's 10, let's see, uh, let's just say I have 20 of them, all right? So that's, uh, Two, that's one million, two million, three million, four million, five million, six million, seven million, eight million. That's nine million just in those right there, and that's off of three fishing poles, three of the uh, steel fishing rods. And you have to look at the, the payoff in between those. All right, a steel fishing rod's only 54k per rod. All right, if you go and you fish in that river over in Calfion, like I was talking about down here, all right, you're guaranteed to catch at least, at least three to four of them out here in this river. All right, just for inactive fishing, that's not even counting the fish that you're going to catch. Those relics selling them in the marketplace equals some good times as far as I'm concerned for AFK fishing. All right, now I'm going to end it there because it's a craft of the mind and I got a phone call. I got to see who it was. And that's all I can really think about without rambling any further. Now, if you have any better ideas about this, please, like I said before, just keep it, you know, to the topic. Okay. Don't be an elitist asshole out there because this is supposed to help everybody, including myself, learn even more about Black Desert Online. And don't forget, it's on sale 50% off. 50% off the Explorers Pack. $25 and some change for the Explorers Pack on Black Desert's website right now until March 13th. Perfect time to get into Black Desert Online. Woo!